Hello, ladies. I have asked to meet with the five of you here in Mrs. Smith's home to discuss how we can fight back against the efforts by conservatives to smear her. I think it would help a lot if we all work together to write a book about your experiences. A book? Do most people even bother to read books anymore? Let alone buy them? Perhaps not. Which is why I think we should also publish the chapters of the book as entries in a blog that the public can easily access. Even if few people buy and read the book, many people may read the blog for free. I have been blogging for many years, so I am quite good at it. Dale, let's just do the blog first and see how things go with that. Sure, we just have to decide how to tell the stories of you five. I think we should start with what happened about two or three weeks before I first met you, when Carrie was being persecuted in her school for having lesbian mothers. Wow, that feels like it was a thousand years ago. How different life seemed to be back then. It was even more different before you came into my life, Carrie. For years, I was the only atheist child in school and the other kids despised me for being different. I don't understand why they hate me so much. I keep asking them how their God can be real and they won't give me an answer that makes any sense. It's like they don't care about truth and just want an excuse to hate. You were the first person in this town besides my mother that loved me. I don't know what I would have done without you. Likewise, you being in this town made adapting to life here a lot easier. I sometimes think without you, I would have attempted suicide a lot sooner. You truly complete me. All right, I will proceed to interview each of you to get some ideas on how to write your stories. The important thing is that people everywhere be able to see your humanity. The depictions of your kind in conservative Christian media as sinners need to be challenged and debunked on every level. 